Walk in the trap with them bricks in your bitch. Drip, drip. Like a fucking it. Two and no say text. I stay on my texture shit. 500 for the fit. You spend 500 on a bitch. Stick to the script. Young Mike never switch. Bitch, I'm gon' hit. Young Mike never miss. Hey, bodies on top of them bodies. We pull up a case. Back to the shoddy. Yeah. What's Gucci YouTube? It's your boy Young Mike. Back at it with another fire video. And <clears throat> I'm sorry for not posting last night or yesterday. Just uh, just thought I deserved a little break, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> Y'all could let me know if I'm wrong, but uh, I just thought I deserved a little break because um, we just been dropping back to back content, you know what I'm saying? But um, as y'all can see in the title, in this episode, I'm trying to teach y'all three simple steps on how to make money. And y'all, as y'all can see in the title, um, so you want to make money, and you know that's just basically what it is. So, today, I'll be teaching y'all how to make money. Now, of course, it takes money to make money. Of course, of course. So, people always ask me, where do I get that little money to make the money? You know, because I know it takes money to make money. So, here's my answer to them. And um, at the same time, you know, teach me something. As, so we could learn together. Uh, spark up, guys. Make sure y'all 18 and up if y'all smoking tobacco products, yada, yada, etc. Um, thank y'all for all the subscribers. 14K, here we come. Uh, what else? What else? Yeah, let's get it. Cheers, guys. What's up, YouTube? <sighs> y'all remember that shit. All right, you guys, so check it, check it, check it. <laughs> There's three steps to doing this that I follow. I know I'm not rich. I know I'm not this and that, but I do get money. So there's a way. So if y'all don't know... um. About a hustle like mine, like then, then y'all need to know because I'm a person who will make something out of nothing always, all the time. A one. Not a lot of people can say that. Some people just give up. Like yesterday, I was gonna do a video, but I just, I didn't give up. I did try, but my camera died. So I was like, you know what? I'm not about to redo the whole video. And etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So it was kind of messed up, but um, I didn't give up. I'm retrying it right now. So yeah, don't ever give up, guys. You know, like you gotta have the money mentality if you want to make money. If not, you're not gonna make money. Well, you are, but you won't make it as good as the other people that have the hustlers mentality. You know what I'm saying? So guys, so. Rule number one. Well, like, not even a rule, but just, like, a step number one. Is always, you know what I mean? Always spend more money. Always. You're probably like, what the freak are you talking about? Let's just have my chain as an example, right? Um, This is a 10 karat gold rope chain. Uh, 10 karat gold will break, I think, yeah, will break faster than 14 karat gold, right? So, I didn't even know that, you know, when I bought, when I first bought my first, this is my first chain, so I didn't even know that. Um, until about, like, my third chain, I started realizing that 10 karat gold is a start off. No matter what, I'm still keeping every single one of these chains on my neck. Like, I'm just gonna be the person with, like, 10, 15 chains on his neck, you know what I'm saying? Big old ice style flooded chains and shit. But right now, it's a start off, you know? This is a little starting set, you know what I'm saying? So, that's what I did. I got my little starting set. Over time, I, I oh, well, soon I'm gonna cop. I, I'll let y'all know, but y'all know what's up. I don't lie when I say I'm gonna cop something. I'm gonna cop a diamond chain running down this bitch, probably longer than this one. 
like the diamond chain, boom. Like real diamonds, bro. And uh, then later on, I'll get a piece for that chain. Then I'll get another one, you know, and then I'm just be keep on continuing my collection. Rings, of course, I'm going to get these rings gone. I'm probably going to give this ring to, like, um, I don't know, someone special, guys. We might do giveaways. I just need to learn how to do that. All that stuff. But, like, anyway, what I'm trying to say is 10 karat gold. Since I bought 10 karat gold, I have to keep heavy maintenance on my chains. Not not, not these lit three uh, chains, but this one. And this tiny one right here, right? I had to keep high maintenance on it. So, like, I had to make sure that no one yanks my shit, like, off my neck type shit. So, that way, I don't have to go pay for, uh, what is it? Soldering or whatever? Soldering? Just, like, uh, they connect it back together if it breaks. But with 14 karat gold, you're most likely not going to have to solder your chain or anything like that. That's what I'm trying to explain to y'all. By paying more, if I have 14 karat gold right here, it would last longer than a 10 karat gold. Now, I'm not saying 10 karat gold is not going to last. It's going to last longer. I don't know if y'all know this, but I had this chain for a good, what, six months already, guys? Oh, shit. Oh, no. Never burn your seats, bruh. That's a, that's a rowdy ass L. If you burn your seats with the blunt, you're going to be so mad at yourself, bro. I'm telling y'all. But anyway, guys, so by you spending money, like more money on something better than a cheaper thing, you let, you have less things to worry about. I wish I could <coughs> say the same thing for my Mercedes Benz. When I bought this Benz, it was fucking, I had everything to do. I, I, I bought this Benz because when you look on San Antonio online, the Benz just go for a good one, $10,000 and up. 10 racks and up. I only had five. So I, I decided, you know, this is the one I was settling on. Now it had the, this and that to do to it. I ended up getting like three thousand dollars, over three thousand dollars of work onto this car. New fan, new radiator, new um, what the fuck? New everything, bro. Everything's fucking new. New battery, new terminals, new spark plugs. Headlights are good. Like everything started getting replaced out this bitch. And I didn't even know that, but I guess that's what comes with a cheap Benz, you know? Like, you have to put work into it. So, that's what I ended up doing. Now, <coughs> usually it works out if you spend more money, you save money because that the thing you spent more money on lasts longer. Like, say I buy some cheap Fruit of the Loom <laughs> t-shirts. <coughs> they only last for <coughs> maybe two days of me wearing those shirts and then they fade out. Let's say I go buy some Express t-shirts. Now, these last for like a month or two. You know what I'm saying? Like, And that's saving money. You spend a little more, but it's lasting you way longer than that cheap stuff. So that's what's going to help you, you know, get money. So you want to get money? That's how you get money. That's how you save money. And, you know, like everybody wants to save money. So that's just what it is. Also, it's nice to save money out there, guys. I understand. But you don't want problems to keep constantly popping up for something cheap you want to get that you know out the way if you can't and you have to rock with the cheap stuff because you can't afford the expensive stuff i'm not gonna blame you i don't i i have this cheap cheap phone and i don't I, i'm thinking about buying an iphone but i'm like really like i don't know like i i the iPhone 8, i seen it's like almost this size. Like, I don't want a small phone like that. And, like, I only mess with some type of certain, uh, what is it, contract people or whatever on phone companies. And I don't mess, the people I mess with, they don't have the pluses there. They don't have the pluses there. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I'm just going to wait until I find a good deal on an iPhone or something. And then I'm just going to cop one. Because right now, like... I really want to just get a brand new one from the store, but they have the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 7. They're all about the same equivalent size of this, and I don't like that phone. It's too small for me. I want something bigger than that, like real talk. That's too small for me. But anyway, you guys, so number two, get a job. Of course, everybody knows get a job. 
I'm explaining to y'all why getting a job is only temporary, like due to my actions and how I had to learn the hard way. I got a job when I got out of jail. Of course, I had like no type of money. They took my vehicle and I was down, you know, and I had no customers. So what I ended up doing was co copping a job. I had this job. Then another job opening um, wanted me to work there. So I, I was working two jobs. Then I was working, um, trying to start my own business. So that's three jobs. Then I was working a job at night. That's four freaking jobs in one, like, in one day, four jobs. So every week, like, not every week. I, it only lasted one week, guys. That's what I'm trying to explain to y'all. I had set hours for each time, right? Boom, 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 boom. So I'm at this, um, I'm building a fence, right? I'm building a privacy fence, right? Boom, boom, boom. I get a call. It's my manager from this job. And she tells me that you're, can you come in at 2? When I was scheduled for 5 o'clock, that's a whole three hours that I'm supposed to be on this site. And then go over there and make it to my other job. Now, <coughs> I tell her I'm scheduled at 5. I, I have a picture of the schedule on my phone, man. Yeah, but we changed the yada yada. What the hell? Y'all changed the schedule? How can y'all even do that to me? You know what I'm saying? I didn't even tell her that. I was like... All right, ma'am, I'll be there. And she told me if I don't go, I'm going to get fired. So I'm like, okay. I just continued my job. I, I realized then and there that they play with your hours. And I have friends that, you know, are on and off jobs because they keep on playing with hours. Like, they'll give them this amount of hours this week and then give them crappy hours the next week. Like, it's so messed up how you don't have a set hourly rate. Like, some people got to pay rent and bills, and they can't do that because... You get low hours, and it's not expected like that, though. But just because this happened or this happened, they give you crappy hours, and it's messed up. And also how I feel about that the jobs is just that the only reason why I think it's temporary is because they will play with your hours or, you know, sometimes people just don't like the job they're working at. And if you don't like the job you're working at, I, I wouldn't work there because if you could work somewhere you don't feel it's a job, then guess what? You're not working. You're getting money for what you love to do. And that's that's the amazingest part about it all. You know? That's where my third step is coming in. Start your own business. Now you got some work money. Now you you saving money because you got some expensive stuff. And it's lasting you longer. So now you're set for the future. So now you want to think about what to do. What do I do as far when it comes to starting my own business? How do I start it? Do I go online? Do I do this? Do I do that? Yes, you go online for sure. Go online if y'all don't, if you say you got zero friends or and all that, you know what I'm saying? You, you not even like nothing like that popular or nothing like that. Don't worry. Internet is designed for people to see other people's stuff. So let's say you have zero friends. If you keep on posting good content or if you keep on posting this and that about such and such about your own business and you start getting customers, you will get customers. If you're not getting customers, you're not trying hard enough or you're not following these steps correctly. You need to spread the word like nothing ever before. You need to spread the word like you're doing a garage sale in your neighborhood. You need to spread the word like, you know what I'm saying, guys? Like, get flyers and put them out on doors. Even if it's something small like a... Uh, I don't even know how to explain it. Something small like selling shoes online. Make some cards. Make some flyers. It's real cheap to do that. I'm telling y'all, guys. You could even make, like, flyers in the library. Like, on um, the copy papers. <sighs> Put them out on people's doors, you know, make sure you be real, real, real respectful about how you do shit and how you, you know, start your own business. But online will definitely get you some credit. You know, you could like write people's uh, websites nowadays. So you could have a five star online business running, selling your stuff, doing good. You might not run numbers the first week, but I'm telling you this <coughs> by next year. You would definitely have a good business for sure. If you follow the hustle and you don't give up and you keep on doing what you're doing by next year, not even, I'm just saying that's the longest, but like some people do it in a month. Some people do it in two months. You know, me personally, it took me to get like five star ratings and stuff, probably like five months. Five star ratings, you know what I'm saying? Five months, five star ratings. And it's because if you're late, 
you know, stuff like that, it takes the rating off. You got to be real respectful, all that stuff. You know, like, you don't want to be giving people attitude. No one wants to meet up with someone that has an attitude or anything like that. You want to be respectful, family-friendly type shit. But don't take kindness for weakness, guys. I, I know, you know, people probably think, like, I'm really sweet. But I promise you guys, like, if y'all play, I'm going to play back. That's all I'm going to say, you know. Because, like, at the end of the day, respect is earned. And if if people earn the respect, then they earn it. You know, there's nothing more to say about respect. But as far as starting your own business, respect has a lot to do with that, you know. And um, that's three simple ways. There's more ways, of course. There's way more ways of getting money. There's, like, a 100,000 ways to make money out here. And we just don't know them yet, but we're learning. And I'm learning, too. That's why I'm explaining to y'all, like, please teach me on some stuff, too. Because I'm learning as we go, and y'all learning as we go. And that's how we're supposed to do it. You know, the teacher gets taught sometimes, and um, that's just how it works. So, I hope y'all could agree on my steps that I take. Now, there's a lot of risk, and there's a lot of cut corners in the game, but... Only the best do, you know, only the best have cut corners. And it's just sometimes you got to rock with that because sometimes there will be rainy days. And what you got to do on a rainy day is stay positive. You know, I don't know if y'all seen Cat in the Hat and it's all raining outside and they're all having fun even though it's raining. Like shit, stuff like that, that's the stuff that I'm on, you know what I'm saying? Even if, if it's a rainy day, always keep your head high, you know, there's... It's not always going to rain. It's not always going to rain. I could tell you that much. But I could stand the rain. Yes, I can. I done sat seven and a half months in the rain, bro. Seven and a half months, bro. I done drowned in the rain. Came back. I was all washed up, bro. I was all washed up. I had to, you know what I'm saying? I had to do what I had to do to make it here. So I thank y'all. We done ran. We done gained 30,000 subscribers. I know we only got uh, 13 right now, but plus the other 20 that I used to have. If you really add that up, that's 30,000. I can't believe I ran those numbers. Millions of views. It's a blessing. And I can't thank y'all enough for it. But uh, I am going to thank y'all for it. Giveaways coming soon. I want to do, like, if we do shout outs, like, the uh twenty dollar shout outs or whatever then that's when i'm gonna i guess um give y'all something too with it that way i could have something with it too like i have a bunch of like uh fake jewelry i don't wear i know some people don't want to wear fake jewelry but it's just something like special to me if y'all don't want it just don't say y'all just say y'all don't want it but i have a bunch of fake jewelry i could give away um still pretty nice uh what else like, we'll just give away stuff like that. You know, if you're 18 and plus and y'all could show me, like, ID and all that stuff, we could send tobacco products and stuff like that and uh, let y'all try out some stuff that I try out and let y'all let me know what y'all think about it and stuff like that. But y'all got to let me know what's up. Y'all already know. I do not have a PayPal account set up. I did last time on my last channel, but I got to redo 